Hello, good morning all my lovely students. I hope you are doing well. So today I have brought something new for you which is the English grammar topic models. Here I have brought part 1 introduction by your Sonali Math class 9. We are going to start very easy topic and very interesting topic of grammar. Already you have practiced a lot about it. We will see further and that is a model that we are going to discuss. Now grammar is something that you should learn the concept and then you should practice more and more exercises to just grab that concept and hold over the grammar. Let us see how we can do this. So I hope you will enjoy this session. Here we start the first topic of our grammar which is models. So what are the models? So models are the set of helping verbs that are used to express possibility, permission, ability, advice or something that is given to you as a form of instruction or sometime as an opinion. So this way we use models in our daily life, in our sentences. Now models, they are different from the other helping verbs which are do, does, am, is, is, in which form? They have only one form, they are not used in a form of plural or uh, they, they do not convert themselves with the other form. For example, if I say I can do this, I will not give a word can in a plural that I can do this, that is wrong. I can say that I can do this work. May I open the door? So here may is used as the model and which is always used in the form of singular. Now they are used with the infinitive or present verb. Yes, we use them with the present verb like talk, walk, uh, then you can say sing, close. So they are used along with this present verbs. Even you can form questions using this model verbs itself. Let us see an example. May I open this door? May I go out to play? Will you do this for me? So in this all sentences, I am using model as a form of questions. Now here let us start the models with their examples. So their examples are should, must, ought to, may, might, can, could, able to, will, would, could, etc. Now let us start with the should first. So should is used to say the right thing or the get good thing to do and we use this to give advice or an opinion. Example, your parents must be saying this to you that you should study every day for 2 hours or you should perform yoga every day. You should not behave, you should not behave in wrong manner with your classmates or the siblings. You should always respect your teachers. So in this all statements that we have seen is the use of should is given as a form of advice or as an opinion. Now we can usually use all four forms. Let us see them one by one. So basic structure here is subject plus should plus verb which is infinitive plus object. Now let us see the basic structure as well as the use that we can uh, have in the sentence. So subject plus should plus you will use infinitive verb plus object. So the statement here is we should talk English, we should talk Hindi. So here we that represents subject, should is a model, verb we have used is talk and object is English. Let us see more examples. Now this should you can use for the positive as well as 
negative sentences. So, positive sentences go goes as uh, subject plus should plus verb plus object. Example, I should study hard, we should stay home. Negative sentences subject plus should not or should not plus verb plus object. We should not talk Gujarati, we should not go out. So, this way I can use should as the form of positive sentence as well as negative sentence. Now, positive question using model should. Should plus subject plus verb plus object. Now, here we are using model to make a question. So, that will be kept as the first word in entire sentence. Should we go from here? Should we stay home? So, that way you can use model to create a question. Should we study now? Should we, uh, should we prepare dinner? So, this way you can use should for the positive questions. Now, negative questions should not plus subject plus verb plus object that goes as should not we talk Tamil? Should not we go out? Should not we talk Gujarati? So, this way you can use model in the positive as well as negative questions. Now, here are more examples, you should study them, so you will have a better idea. You should talk louder when you do a speech, that is the advice been given using should. You should not talk louder in the mosque. Should you talk louder in front of gathering? Should not you talk louder here? So, this way I am using model should and should not in the form of advice, a simple statement or in the form of question. Now, here the second is must that we are going to see a second model which is must. So, for must basic structure is subject plus must plus verb plus object. So, must used to say it is necessary to do something or give order or instruction. So, remember must we use whenever that task is compulsory, necessary or it comes in the or it comes in the form of instruction or order by the higher authority. You cannot avoid that task. So, whenever that task is unavoidable, we should use must. Possible to use four forms, but we usually use the positive as well as negative sentences. Let us have a look. Positive sentence, subject plus must plus verb plus object. So, example is you must speak in English. So, that is the way we give instruction during assembly or during our class in the school. Negative sentences, subject plus must not or you can say must not plus verb plus object. We must not talk in Tamil or we must not talk in Gujarati. So, that is way we use must and must not in our regular sentences. Example, we must cultivate good habits. We must not or we must not cultivate a bad habit. So, that way we are using must as a model here when the instructions are given or the task is important or necessary. Now, ought to. So, we use ought to to say what is right to do or what is somebody advise or recommends. Usually, we use only positive and negative sentences. So, basic structure is subject plus or to plus verb plus object. Let us see some examples. Positive sentence, subject plus or to plus verb plus object, you ought to apply for this job. Negative sentence, subject plus or not to 
plus verb plus object you ought not to waste money so this way we are using a model ought to for our se uh, sentences and the statements examples we ought to respect elders we ought not to talk rudely to the people so that way we are using ought to model in our daily life let's see the next and most commonly used model which is may now may is used to say something is possible or perhaps something can happen so this show a possibility of that event or possible of that action this has present as well as a future meaning usually we use only positive and negative sentences question form is used to get the polite permission i have already given you example may i come in may i close the door may i use the wa washroom may i go to loo so that way we are using may as a model for permission or for seeking permission or for asking some advice basic structure is subject plus may plus verb plus object so the positive sentence will go as he may come today it may rain today we may finish our homework today negative sentences subject plus may not plus verb plus object so that will go as they may not donate blood they may not they may not ask for cheating they may not ask for dowry positive question may i sit here may i use your phone so this way i will use may as the positive question might now might is also used as a may usually we use only positive and negative sentence using model might basic structure subject plus might plus verb plus object positive sentences subject plus might plus verb plus object he might come home negative sentence they mightn't they might not help us so this is the might model that we are using that shows some possibility so we are we are using this as a possibility it might rain today it might be that the use of this drug or vaccine it might be helpful helpful these days they might not go by walking they might not go on road they might not come to our houses our maid might not come for domestic help so this way we use might and might not example she might come class today they might not face the exam he might pass the test so this way i am using might and might not for my daily daily conversations now can so in the present form we are using can is used to say it is possible to do something to say an ability or to give permission all four forms are possible subject plus can plus verb plus object so positive sentences subject plus can plus verb plus object so he can dance well he can sing well he can write in cursive so that way i am using can in my sentences can is used when you want to show some ability negative sentences that will go as subject plus cannot plus verb plus object that example is they cannot defend us or they can't defend us they can't do this they can't overcome this pandemic so this way we are using can and cannot positive questions using can can 
plus subject plus verb plus object. Now remember whenever you will make a question you have to put your model as the first word of your sentence. Can we go from here? Negative question can't plus subject plus verb plus object. Can't she speak in English? Can't she talk English? Can't she complete this work? So that way I am going to use can and can't to make questions. Examples, few more examples. She can play the piano. She cannot play the piano. Can she play the piano? Can't she play the piano? So that way I am using can and cannot for the simple sentences as well as to make the questions. Now could that is the past form. Now may, might, can, could. So here we will see how we can use could. It is the past form of can is used to say it is possible to do something, to say an ability or to give the permission. All four forms are possible using could. Basic structure is subject plus could plus verb plus object. Now positive sentences subject plus could plus verb plus object. So example we will see an example he could pass the exam. Negative sentences subject you will use could not plus verb plus object. They couldn't catch the train. They could not meet the expectations. They could not come to hometown. So that way I am using could and could not. Few more examples we will see forming questions. Could plus subject plus verb plus object. Could you attend the party? Could you attend the meeting? Negative sentence couldn't subject verb object. So, couldn't he talk to her? Couldn't he finish this task? So, that way we are using could to form positive as well as negative sentences. Let us see few more examples. Nimal could win the match. Nimal could not win the match. Could Nimal win the match? Couldn't Nimal win the match? So, this way I am using examples. Able to. Now able to is used which shows some strength or some ability to do that work or it shows about the possibility. So able to is used to say an ability or the possibility. All four forms can be made. Now basic structure for able to is subject plus B plus able to plus verb plus object. So let us see example. For example, I am able to drive the car. She was able to pass the interview. I will be able to participate the event. Now here I am using will be able to because that is the future event. Were you able to buy that? So these are the few example in which I am using able to used to. So, used to that is something which used to happen or was there in the practice as a old fashion. So, we are using used to. There used to be a park here years ago. There used to be a playing station at this place 5 years ago. So, that way you show some old fashion or something which was there as a practice for long period of time in the past. Now, first method is action that happened continuously or frequently during a period of time in the past. And second method we can use is somebody does an action as a habit continuously at the present. So, the both way we can use use to. First method the basic structure is subject plus used to plus verb plus object. Second method is subject plus be present word used to plus verb plus object. 
let us see few examples of these sentences. First method, we used to suck fingers in childhood. So, that is the practice that we used to do years before, but we are not doing it right now. Second method is we are used to studying together with the friends. That means you are doing this as a practice on a daily note with your friends even today. So, both way you are using used to. Going to. Now, going to describe the action that are about to happen or do. Action has a future meaning, but we use it only present or and as a past. Let us see few examples. Subject plus be plus going to plus verb plus object. Let us see few examples. Are you going to write this? She was going to start a new business. Were they going to attack the camp? She is going to go home. I am going to purchase a new car. So, here are the few examples in which we are using going to as the future or the current action which is possible to happen. So, I hope you have understood this models in a bit of detail. I will come with the part 2 with my next presentation which will be the quick recap for this model and then I will also send a PDF which includes all exercise. You have to write those exercise with the answers with the pencils. Now, statement you will write with the pen, but answer you will write with the pencil. So, while correction if there any mistake you can change accordingly. So, just wait for my next part. I hope you have enjoyed a very easy and very interesting topic of grammar which is model. See you soon. Bye. Take care.